Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Kaiser Reich. I'm your host, Mr. Argentina Lover. But we've got to talk, to, talk about the Laborio Justo, Justo trial. As the trials against the treacherous revolutionaries are being carried out, a standout case has been picked up by the press and is spreading through the nation like wildfire. Laborio Justo, son of the General in Chief of Staff Augustin, Augustin uh, P. Justo, Justo, had fled to the Fronte Obrero Patagonico in 1930, taking with him many military manuals from El Palomar and helping make the FOP's military stronger. Accused of treason, some judges had suggested the death penalty, and that's where General Just Augustin P. Justo decided to intervene. Arguing against execution, Justo was coming off to the public as a voice of reason, criticizing the government for being overly harsh and potentially inspiring yet another uprising. The past and the guilty sentence is still on the table. Many on the cabinet are well aware of Augustin P. Justo's deep connections into both the army and the UCRA, and advises to treat the matter with precaution. He won't dare risk the old marshal's wrath. He isn't scared to force a guilty sentence. Retire him. You could really get rid of a lot of national populist support. Even though we are national populists. Uh, don't, don't piss him off. I think that's probably the best one for now. Just don't piss him off. Completion of the five-year plan, of course. And then, damn construction. And uh, we've got some comments to go through. As well, we had European immigration off screen as well. Um, and we just get more from different places. That's why it's 170%. There wasn't really anything interesting there. Of course, we're trying to eradicate military cliques. And I'll be honest with you guys, I honestly can't remember um, uh, the last one thing I read. I think I read this one. Yeah, I think I read this one. So if you want to do this again, please go right ahead. Um, but quite a few comments as well to talk about. From Shore Shining Shore, Confederate States of the River Plate. I like that one though. Um, let's see. Reduce violence on equipment. I read a couple of these already before. Oh, I think I did open Universidad Nacional de Cuyo. Well, the recent events regarding the LP takeover. Old rivalries between the capital and the interior cities have revi been revived. And now the people of the provinces of Mendoza, San Juan, and San Luis are unhappy that they are forced to move to Buenos Aires in order to get a higher education. We considered their demands as fair, and as such, we decided to found the Suyo uh, National University. Cool. And we'll do Armada Argentina. Argentina, right? Let's strengthen the Navy. The Armada Argentina, Argentine Navy, is currently the 8th most powerful Navy in the world, preceded only by the European powers, the US and Japan. We're also the current largest Navy in South America, and being our best interest to maintain the naval hegemony. Of course, only about mid-1938, which is not bad. Uh, I want cast, I want fighters, tactical bombers, not even going to bother with this, this campaign. Naval stuff would be nice, some radar, Ireland during the Reich's Pact, and... Yeah, not bad. What are you doing here? Ah, there are fighters, some actual fighters. Oh god, we only have one. Oh, that sucks. But at least we're at peace for now. Until we're not at peace. Um, navy strengthened. Letting either side of the armed forces get too much influence has severe consequences and could even lead to a military coup. Hmm. After that one. Yeah, I definitely want to go a reinvigorated economy. Hmm. More building slots. Political advisors, okay. Uh, look at this military factory. But Alfonsina, a historian, found dead. And yet another unfortunate blow for the SADE. The modernist poet Alf Alfonsina, story has been found dead today. An investigation was opened on the case, but it was quickly concluded as a suicide, given statements by her acquaintances, as well as evidence found on her residence and the area where she reportedly threw herself off a breakwater into the sea in the town of Mar del Plata. Also, if you want to read this again, please go ahead. <clears throat> her body found washed up on a beach by two workers is now on its way to Buenos Aires, where funeral preparations are being prepared by the SADE as a national newspaper writes about the tragic death of the great American poet. While her association with socialist revolutionary Manuel Baldomero has caused a great deal of concern for the government, many passerby has left flowers and paid respects in the train cabin she was going to be transported later in the day, and so it may be better to leave the procession for the time being. Or leave the procession be. It's best to leave the public to mourn for now. And what do we have? Nothing here. Um, what are we missing here? Guns, support equipment. Oh. Wait, why are we using Marines for that? There we go. That works out better. Uruguay wins the World Cup. Sounds like we're gonna get rid of the Uruguayans then. And since it's 1938, we're dealing all that stuff. Artillery's okay. Anti-air. We might want to get some anti-air as well. Oh, definitely need trucks. Definitely, definitely, definitely <coughs> need trucks. Um, we could support American Civil War, but I think for now, I always like Grand Battle Plan. It's not the greatest. I think I might just go Superior Firepower. It's pretty standard. Tried and true. Let's see. 
I like them somewhat, don't really like them that much. The fads we probably like the most, in all honesty. A little ahead of time. Armored trains. I don't really need to have armored trains, that's okay. Mm, we can send one division. Well, one's better than nothing. And we'll send one, we'll send one of the Mountaineers. One of the light infantries. Why not? I can't do anything about that. Anything. Oh, here. Reduce reliance on port equipment. Not bad. Um, strive for autarky. We're going to be in fact with the German Empire. Or you go down here. Strive for autarky. It's not bad either. Mm, oil production could be pretty good. Well, let's see what happens. Confederate States other river plate. Uh, syndicalist men have been shown their place in the Argentine state rules supreme. Time's coming out to rally the people of Southern Cone and unite them into the Catholic Federation under our wing. How many days do we have left for this? A thousand, that's not bad, actually. That's actually pretty good. Let's go over here. Can't do this guy. That'd be very nice, but whatever. Dominican Republic. Oh. Minor was wheat and cotton, cotton farms. Sugar stand, general. Uh, that's not bad either, actually. Human rights lawyer? Nope. That's not bad. That's actually pretty good, too. Actually, I might wait for this uh, this guy. No, I might just get this guy. Good nutrition, though. Max actors in the state. End month population. I didn't have bad. I want you to fight near, here, around here-ish. Because it's going to be god awful, and I want a lot more army XP. Oh, swamp fox. Fast planner. And you're politically connected, or with Kasab, but you're not. So I'll go with you. Be nice. And then we'll do what? Domestic aircraft manufacturers? Mm, yeah, why not? American and German aircraft compose most of our air fleet while there's capable planes that are produced outside of Argentina, and thus are unreliable source. Demand this. We should fund the new. Ooh, look at that. <coughs> Instituto Aerotecnico, which will provide us with the latest aeroplane models. Due to our decisive action in the early days of the recession, and the primarily due to the successes of the J&G, &G, a large portion of our farmers have been able to escape from bankruptcy. Now that trade is uh, once again increasing, our farms are in excellent shape, and large shipments of food are already being sent to Canada and the German Empire. Very well. Yes. Good. Very, very good. I want to wait for that one. Uh, over here, who do we have? We have army, army. A lot of army stuff, which is not bad. Better division. Ooh. Better division of attrition. Capital ship is only 5%. Even five percent more would be pretty nice. Mm, screens attack, capital ship attack and defense. You know what? I'm gonna go with you. Never mind. <laughs> Oops, that was the exact wrong one. I didn't want. <laughs> oh well. I saw this one, so I should have done this guy. Actually, we got more political power too. Naval stuff. Eh, I'll keep it on air. Let's keep it on air. Something different. I don't always choose that one. I'm just gonna keep it on air because I almost never choose the air one. Maybe you want to stay there. That's fine with me. I don't care. You're only 12... Oh, 19 come with. That's actually not bad. Alright, that's the case. Let's go and choose someone else. A fuel gain. I want to still continue building up. Ew, I like this one. Um, Fuel gain for oil. That's not bad, but we're going to do that one. Aircraft designer. It's the only one we got. So, might as well. Uh, Gothic Brothers all around the world. Next volunteer division, it's not bad. So which one do we have to do? Pressure oh, apply for the Reichs Pact? Well, we could try. That'll determine what we do. Oh, and they say yes. The Kaiser is glad to accept our offer and officially announced to the world yesterday that Argentina would join the Reichs Pact. Two arms. Cool. Pressure Uruguay. As the Brazilian Aurelian group on the region suddenly become ideologically opposed to that. Uh that Uruguay, we should send him an offer of our protection to deter any possible Brazilian escapades. During the middle of Europa, now they've chosen to align with the German Empire. An opportunity has arisen to join the Economic Pact, the Central European Economic Union, shown to middle Europa. Though this pact is dominated by Germany and its interests and several forces several obligations on its member states, it also provides several benefits. Easier trade with Germany and mutual defense in particular. Should we offer to join the middle Europa sphere and accept these obligations? Well, we're going to go align with them, I guess, for now. Join the Wilhelm Kaiser Society? Yes. Yes, please. Even though they didn't support this faction, but whatever. Black Monday. 
Spanish Civil War is over. Fall of Bucharest. Jack Forn. Well, we can't do this one now. Probably do this one since we uh we go their direction, so. So attract foreign manufacturers. Our nation is a massive untapped potential which could be exploited by foreign investors. Reducing the requirements for these companies to settle here and offering them extensive subsidies will surely bring these to our nation and boost our industry. Alessandro de la Torre is found dead. The Partido Popular Democrático's founder, Alessandro de la Torre, has been found dead today in his apartment in Buenos Aires. A progressive politician, having largely taken a harsher stance towards conservatives after the assassination of Enzo Borda Bejera, stepped down from the public life after the Liga Patriotica's coup and up to avoiding political retaliation. However, it seems his own personal life was what got him in the end, as a quick investigation has labeled his death as a suicide, with him even sending farewell letters to his close friends before shooting himself. Leaving behind a controversial legacy, standing in the middle ground between revolutionaries and conservatives, the public still holds him in high esteem, as many have attended his funeral, possibly thanks to his investigation of German intervention in the meat market in 1933. Que en paz descanse. I apologize for mispronouncing everything. <laughs> Now we've got this one, FM Investment Program. Uh, to further provide the necessary arms for a growing army, the government has announced a program to fund and create the Fabricaciones Militaris, capable of providing an army with all the small arms they need. Oh god, oh, the CSA is trying to fight them too. Or Canada is trying to fight the CSA. Oh, god, rap. <coughs> I forget who the Canadians supported though. You guys actually win there? Maybe, yeah. Holy, oh! I guess they're not that strong right there, but still. Our nation is a massive untapped potential which could be exploited by foreign investors. Reducing the requirements for these companies to sell here and offering them extensive subsidies will surely bring these to our nation and boost our industry. Augustine, do you have anything here? Oh, yeah. That'd be nice. We need way more arty. Maybe just thinking of aluminum too. We're playing several different sides in the American Civil War. Are we mobilizing? Oh, we are. Oh, Argentinian jingoism. That's right. Before we do that one, punish Uruguay, of course. Military occupation of Uruguay. We can core them eventually. Can you? No? Darn. Economic ties. It's not bad. Uruguay is ours. Uruguay is an artificial construct, construct. Has no reason to be independent. The time's going to bring them closer to a sphere of influence and reduce their lands in Brazil. GOU calls Carlos to order. Even though the victory has been secured over Chile and the rebels in Patagonia have been crushed, Carlos is still not satisfied with the territorial expansion of her nation for the campaigns in Uruguay. Brazil and Bolivia are all being drawn up and sent into the army. Being allied to Carlos during the early days of his regime, the GOU has politely requested Carlos to tone down his recklessness before he drags Argentina down with him. Controlling vast parts of our armed forces, we're going to risk angering the GOU as it could lift us from power just as easily as they helped to seize it so we could either have to bow to their request and stop with the campaign or take the radical approach of removing the organization from power with force. Temper our enthusiasm? We're from further invading our neighbors. To be warned with the GOU being disaffected with our government, increasing the power of the army might prove a dangerous gambit. Well... We're gonna expand. <clears throat> America plan. Fall for the American Civil War, not bad. Spent air bases. So right now, where's the Navy at? Naval dominance. Military coup. Well, that's not good. Artillery innovations, strengthen the army. I'll help balance that, we might do that one too. Um, 35 days is not bad. But that is not bad either. Doctrine Innovation. It's not bad either. More production costs about 10% more stock stacks. Not, not bad. More infantry defense. Ooh. Ooh, daily armor speed gain. Art art artillery investments first. Before engaging the enemy, we should also soften their formations up. Georg Dorschbrush Müller, Müller's performance during the Great Wars of Press, both pa Peron and Vanderbach, by proving that huge barrages with art large artillery can effectively pierce enemy lines if used in coordination with an infantry corps. Large artillery pieces should do the job quite well. Now, let's come up here. Oh, they're allied with Brazil, so that means they'll put us at war with Brazil immediately. Hmm. Can we afford a war with Brazil? How long do we have this? I mean, technically, yeah. Montevideo Treaty. Well, I mean, technically, we've got a war now. 
I could have all the Reichs back, technically. By having them go to war and helping us support us in a war like this. So let's get ready. Is this a great idea? Probably not. Is this a smart idea? Eh, maybe not. And if anything, who's better in defense? You're better in defense, so you do that. You're better on offense, actually, so. You two do this. Hope it goes well. Look at that one. <coughs> Missions Orientales. While well, the clans of Brazilian territory are shaky bats, we need to break up the behemoth before he goes out of control. Pretty much. And before Germany might get steamrolled. Fall of New York, not bad. Um, make sure we got enough planes and such. We're here, we're gonna grab logistics, because God, it's gonna suck so much. Nice, not bad. And it's a little ahead of time, but it's not that bad, so we're gonna grab this one then. It's fine. Export focus, we're gonna limit exports next, probably too. Here, be offensive. These infantry divisions are all thick. Oh, we made them four. Oh, God. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, we should do fine then. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yes. Yeah. Any extra planes? Well, we might get. Because we're part of the Reichsback, people might just give us stuff anyway, so. Doing quite well over here. Well, I do want to go to war economy, but give it a second here. I'm gonna go to limit exports. It doesn't help us out that much, but it does help us a little bit with, especially with steel. Ethiopian Somalia, it's fine, whatever. And we'll do this one against Brazil too. I want that war sport. We really need more war sports. Stability's not very good. Um, a plan. And then we'll attract for these guys too. Hmm. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna double check and make sure we're looking okay. Well, we'll see. Let's save. Some comments some. Someone says we should try the democratic cube. It's the only way of playing as Argentina to possibly win out uh, to win the first war we had. Really, with dumb luck. Uh, someone also says Paraguay also either doesn't interfere or attacks you alone with out Chileans or anyone interfering, which gives you free win because Paraguay lacks both manpower and infrastructure to fight against you on their own land. So, tell you have a far stronger Argentina to both Patagonian and Paraguayan industry dealing against a weakened and overstretched Chile. Okay, yeah, cool. And there's more stuff talking about that as well. Someone else says, uh, be careful. Uh, if you don't keep the navy as powerful as the army, then you might get cooed. Keep the navy strong via focuses. I think Marines count to the navy's power as well. Huh. Someone says, it's alright, Mr. Lover. I also get Spanish words wrong as well. Can you do a West run? West Germany run in the Cold War Iron Curtain mod? We'll go down the F path. I don't know, I need to play that mod again. Let's see. Well, all of our allies, and they're going to attack us, which is fine. Calling in the Reichs back is fine, too. Now they're gonna attack us, which is fine. Um, don't do divisions here, but whatever. Call it in the Reichs back to help us out before they all die. So which is good. Guys are all dying. And get some more XP, why not? And see, exactly. Thank you, Germany. Appreciate it. Do you for now. All the <laughs> Reichs back soldiers in there. Oh great support 939. Or 38. Great! More core population, our finest hour, we're gonna do that. Let's go ahead. Happy 939, we're gonna get this done. Time period. Oh, projected immigration report for 939. 100%, huh? Not bad. Losses. Oh, wow, 70,000. Not bad. Oh, yeah. So, thanks, guys. Thanks for trying to stock us up. And you're back, which is fine. Uh, you know what? You need extra help right there. So, do that. Hopefully, the Germans. Yeah, they've already invaded. 
they didn't get a port, which is not good, but whatever. Um, how are we going to attack over the river here? You guys do this. Oh, yeah. Everyone's helping us out. Yay! Uh, use more stability. Get more stability. And how much is going up? 0.6? Not bad. Right? 0.4, actually. 0.4. Broke over the river. Yay! Coordination, please. Thank you. Come again. Actually, really, honestly, at this point, just do this. All part of one front line. Oh, the Germans are kicked out. Uh-oh. Could you actually win here? Oh, I'll cancel only Sessex. Use more trucks, though. Increase European export. South America is an unstable mess and does not provide a large enough market for products. Our partners, Europe, however, are just before resources and will surely buy more if we, are, we up our production. Yep, pretty much. Mm, where's 40% anywhere? Oh, 6%, nice. Want to video? Well, we could. Nice. So it's still going. But that's all right. Once Uruguay's gone, it'll be much easier. Or quite a bit easier. Maybe not much easier, but quite a bit easier. Especially as we're sinking convoys. Love it. Just don't lose in Rio, Ukraine. Buenos Aires Underground expands. <laughs> the Buenos Aires Underground, which opened in 1913, was the first metro system on the South American continent and even the whole Southern Hemisphere. The expansion has been done in the last decades and continued immigration to the city from the impoverished countryside. And the massive influx of European Im immigrants has left our public transportation system severely lacking, leading to the government proposal to nationalize the system or network to allow for better expansion to meet the demands created by the city's population explosion. And now, after several months of work, a new line D for the system has been completed, linking Cathedral, uh, Cathedral to uh, Tribunas. The people of Buenos Aires are patiently waiting for its opening ceremony. Hooray! Of course, we'll do this one, and we'll probably... Ooh, I'm sure supply lines. Logistic companies. Ooh, signal companies. 14 days. That's not bad. Uh, we'll probably do... We'll just keep it on this way, maybe? No. Middle, Middle European Panzer deal. Strive for autarky. The YPF expansion. Now that we control Patagonia, we should let the state-owned Yasemindes Petroliferos Fiscales expand their operations there. General Enrique Mosconi has shown plenty of interest in the project and has asked us to put him in charge of the YPF. Considering his experience in engineering, we believe that he can lead the YPF to new heights, so we can shall name him Director General of YPF. The death of Baroletto. Uh, today, after a gunfight with the police in the town of San Pedro de Altuel, the famous rural outlaw Juan Bautista Baroletto has been declared dead, while the official version that he ki was killed in the gun firefight has become a popular myth that he shot himself to avoid the dishonor of being captured. An almost a legendary figure for the Argentine rural population, his death will undoubtedly be mourned by many. Born in 1894, the son of Italian immigrants, Baroletto was raised in a little town in the province of La Pampa. Then he was occasionally broke the law through petty thieves and vagrancy until a romantic dispute over a local prostitute ended in his assassination of the commissioner of the town, causing him to become an outlaw. After this event, his criminal career quickly became well known, with each assault and escape making him more admired by the people. Notably, Baroletto stole the rich and, from the rich and shared his profits with the poor, leading him to be known as the Argentine Robin Hood, and earning him the praise of the Argentine left, especially the anarchists. While his death will, uh, without question, be a propaganda victory for the regime of Buenos Aires, it can't be denied that for a significant part of our population, his demise is a sad reminder of the slow vanishing of the rural countryside, traditions, and the gaucho way of living. Rebel riders on wild winds, and we're doing modernized wheat and cotton farms. Now that the country's been reunited, we can concentrate on expanding, modernizing, and mechanizing the agricultural sector. With wars looming in Northern America and Eastern Europe, the world needs our food experts more than ever. And then we'll probably do what? Fast and Furious? Division Speed. That's not bad. Uh, Doctrine of Innovations, Land Doctrine Cost goes down, but really, armor doesn't really mean too much to me right now. We get basic light tank chassis. Training in South America sucks. I'd rather get daily army XP game for now, but that doesn't help us in the future. We should get sw squad tactics for more defense and logistic companies, which I do like as well. National populace, strengthen the army. Land Doctrine Cost goes down by 20%, actually. Oh, wow. 
armor. We're not really going to use armor that much. Honestly, I don't see the point of doing that route for now. Maybe in the future we will. But for now, I, I don't mind this one. This one that's not bad, actually, too. But then you can't go down here. But you get armor divisions. Which is actually not bad armor divisions. You go this way, you get that one. You go this way, you get daily armor XP, which is okay. You get more defense, which is pretty nice. Logistics is okay. Now I'll go with proven methods for now. Every military needs a coherent military doctrine to guideline how the army should fight. Uh, many generals suggest sticking with proven methods that have already shown their effectiveness in wars all around the world. Also, we did get most of the foreign equipment stuff done, so... Ooh. The economy of reinvigoration. Argentina has been enormous economic potential because its lands are rich in natural resources. And its people are talented and are working. Together, we can revitalize the economy and revive the prosperity of the early 20th century. Also, as you can see here, we did very well so far. Our casualty list, um, 15,000 versus 300,000. And they're doing very well, so now we're just going to do a general attack because they can't hold us all off. Oh, Mexico City. Oh! Canada's... Wow. Okay. Sure, why not? Chubut. Infrastructure. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, I don't mind more fuel, too, actually, too, as well. Uh, we're on war economy as well. Not much else has really happened here. Um, here, let's go with that one. Do as much as you can right now. Let's go in our economy, but whatever. Integrated sport, yeah. Anything else? No, that's all right. Yeah, division-wise, they have up to 45, because we, we made a pretty big encirclement around where my mouse is right now. The ground here. It was really crappy fighting through here, but we did really well, so. And then after that, we'll do another Navy one. Uh, which one are we on? Well, everybody, we're still here trying to kill things off. I apologize for the fade and fade out there, but uh, the game crashed. <clears throat> Apparently. If I hover over and click on Officer Core right now, the game crashes, which is totally, totally, totally great. And now we're getting to the part of Brazil that no one wants to play around, because it's all very god-awful to fight there. So, uh, we can import some tanks. Might as well. See what happens. Um, just because we can. Um, but yeah, other than that, we're doing we're doing alright. We're doing the fleet on the open seas to make sure that we're still balanced in the military. And most of our trade depending on the sea lanes, and many of our seas on the Atlantic shores. We need to be capable of maintaining control in the open seas, no matter where the foe might be. Not a bad idea. Um, let's see, we need escort ships... Uh, battle cruisers or naval aviation. Carrier model would be kind of nice. Um, strength of the navy. German pose a single currency. Every naval app is go ahead. Sure, why not? Aeroplanes have risen to prominence in the last decades, and that's something we cannot deny. While we be hard pressed to match any of the top naval powers in the world, we could compensate our lack of strength with planes that might tip the odds of a naval battle in our favor. Which is October already 1939, and the war's still not over, but we're getting there pretty darn quick. But when you click on this, like this, then it's still okay, but, you know, whatever. Um, modernize as much as can to add to infrastructure. So I'm going to build more stuff out here. We don't have, like, no factories right now. But whatever. That is what it is. Um, casualties, uh, almost half a million. At this point, just take whatever you can. Go up and around them. Metal. Ooh, two more saves would be nice. Grab you, then. Excavation 3, it's going to stand to 39 still. Grab that because he can, can. Even though we're full on fuel while still sending out our navy, which is pretty nice, actually. Everything else, uh, I could use some aluminum. Al Il. Belém. Yeah, World War II should start very soon, but it doesn't even matter. Thank you, the Reich's Pack, for helping us out. Integrate Uruguay? Oh. Should remove the last few obstructions that are blocking the full integration of Uruguayan lands, make them full Argentine citizens? That's cool. Connect the roads. Attract immigrants? That'd be nice. Instead of doing this stuff, get more immigrants, maybe? Probably? Yeah? Oh, I'll stop doing all that stuff, huh? Oh. Oh. Well, I guess we were importing more fuel, but whatever. So, 1939, not bad. And a little ahead of time, maybe engineers recon military police. So what are you looking at? We need more arty. We need more guns actually too, huh? For now I can put that stuff down. I keep working on them civvies. 
Naval aviation is very nice. Um, don't get the decision to core them, do we? That sucks. I don't like that. Just auto this auto goes by. Naval aviation. Let's see. What, ah, after a long campaign, Rugu we finally managed to shatter the defenses. Most known to understand the fate of them. Okay, there we go. Demobilize. We will probably eventually. Uh, fate of Brazil. Political actions. Fate of Brazil. Well, it's still right here. We need more compliance and whatnot. That's going to take some time, though, but that's okay. It's always going to take some time. America plan. Improve new economic ties with the new provinces. Why not? After successfully developing themselves into large companies in Argentina and Homem, we should enable the smaller industries that are required territories to develop themselves into powerful players. And then we'll balance it out a little bit more. No, the whole is so dominant. Oh, they're, they're very dominant, so. Well, Dell, yeah, that makes sense. We'll do that one, and then we'll do another army one. Open front maneuvers. Wide open landscapes such as the Pampas are the speciality of our army, which have proven multiple times in the past. Coordination between the overstretched army and the often distant headquarters is therefore crucial in art we've mastered. Nice. Italian immigrants, 20%. Oh, yeah. Let's give those Italian boys. La Vida de Carlos Gardel premieres. The movie La Vida de Carlos Gardel, The Life of Car Carlos Gardel, has premiered today in Argentine cinemas and has been greatly received by the public. Directed by Alberto de Zavaldia and supporting uh, famous Argentine actors like Hugo del Carrel and Delia Garces, the movie has drawn some controversy due to the way the plot diverges from the Gardel's personal story. The plot revolves around Gardel, falling in love with a woman he has grown famous as an artist, only slightly lose her love when he begins his international tour, ending with his ultimate demise in a plane crash. The woman is then only left with Gardel's records, but the story ends happily as they both reunite as ghosts. The issue raised by many of Gardel's most loyal fans is that the artist has never had any public relationships with any woman, and the movie is taking a purposely fictional take on the artist. The producers, however, have defended their work, claiming it was never meant to be a biography in return. A good movie, regardless. So, are y'all killing each other now? National Republic of Ukraine. No, you're not. Ooh, that's not good. Why have you not killed each other yet? I mean, you were at war, yeah. But still. Of course, we have the Third International here. Um... There are no Reds in South America. Oh, and... Oh, these guys joined him, though, too. It's not good. Interesting. <clears throat> Interesting, to say the least. Fate of Brazil. We're going to lose a lot of political power by clicking this one. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, goodness. We need a lot more guns on, too. Crap. Well, that ain't good. Got to get more guns. Um, can't share anything from around here, can we? No, we can't. Oh, that's really not good. Oh, crud. I'll get more political power from this one, so I'll wait to do that one. And get that stuff done first. Overall, even though we had to cheat to get the first one done, that's not looking too bad for us. Oh, God. Supplies are really bad, aren't they? Oh, God. Where are you? Yeah, that sucks up there. We've got to quickly move through this stuff. Uh, let's get to this one first. I don't get all the immigration. There you go. Now we will do open front maneuvers. No, actually, we're gonna go to war with Bolivia. The Cubia dispute. Ceded to Bolivia during the Atacama border dispute in exchange for other part of that region, the region of Tarija, as closely aligned to Argentina, has proven to be in favor of reunification with the nation. Persuading Bolivia to see it this way, however, will be a challenge, as some might say. So now it's gonna do this one. After the conquest uh, of the vast nation of Brazil, we have to organize competent administrations to keep the territory under control. Even the magnificent city of Rio is under the boots of our soldiers, we can't keep a hold on it forever. That's what you think. 84% is actually very good. One, almost two, almost roughly two a day. That's very nice. And we need more political power. We will get it in the future. But after this one, spend money facilities. Break up. Oh. Oh, as the overlord of Bolivia. Keep in touch with Peru. Ultimate confrontation. Oh. Well. Let's have your re reparations. Immigration ports. Ooh, not bad. Economic dominance in South America. Yeah, that'd be really good, too. Yeah. How's Paraguay doing? Assistance in Paraguay. Honestly, it's pretty good. It's actually pretty darn good. How many days? 56 days. That's so long. Construction of the islands. That wouldn't be bad, either, from sea to shining sea. That's more stupid. Or worse, bro, which is actually pretty good for us already. We'll go shocking out, though. Also, we got through all these just because now, land action costs 20% less. Which is pretty nice, in all honesty. Pretty darn nice. Ooh, we're building up even more stuff here, too. I don't mind building up some of the roads, too, just because we need to keep building, 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 building. 
and you guys can stop trading, and you guys can start doing that. And you guys can start doing this too. Go back home and do that. And if anything, I want you guys to do this too, and just stay over here. There you go. Open for maneuvers. Nice. Oh. Oh, I called everybody in. So hopefully they give us stuff too. They shouldn't be able to hold out against us too much, right? Right? They've up to 17 divisions, which is not super great for them, but you know, whatever. Oh. And we just switch over to. And get these guys. War propaganda. Oh, that wouldn't be bad, but you know, whatever. Hey, thanks for the stuff, because we actually really, really, really need some stuff here. Oh, that's not good. Connect the railroads. Actually. Construct new civilian factories. Create the war effort. Brazil is numerically superior to us and has a large industrial base to back them up. The only way we can have jets to feed them is by tactical advantage. Huh? I mean, okay. Yes! That's still getting worse every month. That's not good. Attrition. And all sorts of other stuff, too. So more economy. Not bad. How are we looking here? Looking pretty good. Ah. Civi, 60%. Go to the Civi in a million now. Sort of the million to make sure that we're doing really well on that stuff. Actually, it's still getting worse. It's fine. We'll, t we'll spend some time just trying to lower resistance and whatnot, so. Go to La Paz if you can. Follow Chicago. one more of these for now. Nice. Go right there. It's fine. Second rig is ornamento complete. Open front maneuvers. And we'll get some of this too. Nice. Catholic brothers around the world. All around, Catholics are feeling the heat under the yoke of socialist tyranny. The only thing standing between the syndicalist apocalypse and them are the brave Argentinian volunteers fighting across the world to preserve the faith. Yes. Yes, totally. Ooh. Even more yes, please. And is it still naval dominance? Navy strengthened. Not bad. Mass dockyard construction. According to the, uh, this guy's insurance spy lines, the Brazilian heartland will prove a challenge for Burr since it presented a tough challenge for engineers who are working all day around to prepare the necessary equipment to create the supply stations. Get rid of that for now. Some more aluminum from you guys? Sure, why not? He doesn't know the infrastructure is really bad, but whatever. Still moving in though. We lost quite a few probably. Seven thousand, that's not bad. Hey, they're out of manpower too, so. Mm, not super worried about it. So, uh, uh, the comments included. Uh, maybe one thing was that you didn't have enough trucks and you said armies to be supplied by trucks. As far as I remember, you had a 400 truck deficit. Yeah, it doesn't really hurt you that much though. You just don't use that type of supply whenever you have a lot of lack of supply and not enough trucks and whatnot, I think. Could be wrong, completely wrong about that, but whatever. Let's make sure we have planes around here too. Having enough planes is super important. Eh, okay, so or naval bombers. Huh. Oh. There we go. Nice. Doing 40, of course. Better already is really good. Uh, refugees for scientists. I could do this one too. Get a recon. We need to get some recon then. Uh, war propaganda. You know what? We can. Just because we're here. Might as well. Nice. The pod's going to take a little bit of time to get there, but that's fine. How many guns are we at? 10,000? 13,000? Out of a lot of artillery? Or, well, we're working on it. We'll attack them all at once and probably just force attack. Probably for the best. Good guy, supply sucks. Go to the war effort. Make sure supply lines. So we're here anyway. He's going to do this too. Now, really, I have support coming in as well. Oh, great. Well. 
You guys do that, maybe? You guys do that, maybe? Start really trying to bring him in. Bring him in. I mean, they're out of manpower. We're going to lose a lot of guys doing this anyways. I mean, it's a mountain province. What do you expect? God awful. Look at CSA. That's not bad. You can, once you guys can bring these guys in, then we'll attack these guys in. Um, anything else here? Not really. Description crisis. Oh, we need more. Co oh, we need actual cod boys. Ultimate confrontation, sure supply lines, economic dominance in South America. With Brazil being, there's no one left to oppose us on the continent, and our economy is the prime motor of development for thousands of square kilometers. We can achieve the greatness of our forefathers force, force all for us, because the most important hub of commerce and industry is South America, and one of the most important in the world. That's point one, let's just try to continue taking out all of South America. Excuse me, guys, can you, like, finish up here? We have, like, no command power. Yeah, it's taking forever. If that's the case, we do it like this. Uh, you guys, come here. You guys, come here. You stay with these guys. Now. Get out. Supply sucks, that's why. Then we can use an airbase. Give us a little bit more time. It's fine. That's our place is not bad. Get some recon too. <clears throat> Just missing tons of guns and such. Actually, no, we're not. Well, from division reinforcement, really. <coughs> Turkey looks like they really sucked there. Europa Commission. What are you guys going to do anything? Never? Oh, look at that. Nice. 1940s. Anything new there? Anything there? No? Okay, then. More civvies? Sure. Oh, now they're actually attacking us. Look at that. Now supplies a little bit better. Um, man, supplies really bad over here. And there's really, literally nothing you can really do about it. You're a pacta commission member? Ship. Although we have the Europa nation share a common currency in the form of the Europa mark, to be a proper part of the block now, a nation must put itself under the jurisdiction of the Europa commission. But it regulates industrial production. And the quality across the continent, though clearly is biased in favor of the German Empire, we have to sign up. And La Bombera, Bombera now, opens. Mr. Lombon Banner, the football club Boca Juniors has new several locations before settling on the current ground of Brandenson. A Branson. Club's first ground been looking in Darsen Nastur, the old Buenos Aires port, currently Puerto Madero and Isla de Marque, before moving on to Branson and Del Crucero Streets in 1924. In 1931, the Boca Juniors Steering Committee, led by President Ruperto Molfino, acquired the lands of the municipality of Buenos Aires for uh, Argentinian $2.2 million. Uh, three years later, the club published a call for tenders to build up its new stadium. Economic hardship due to the Black Monday disaster and the inability to find proper architects to delay the construction of the new stadium until 1938, when the club played their last match before the great work began. Finally opening on May 25th, 1940, with a friendly match between Boca and San Lorenzo. The home side won 2-0 with both goals scored by Ricardo Al Alarcon. Even though the station was freshly built, it lacked a sliding system which forced the game to end by the 70th minute. Go Boca! Alright, so you guys. If we could force the attack here, that's pretty much what I would want. Can we do it? Do you have any bombers? Give me your civs. Or, you know, do both of you. Let's combine for now. Better already is nice. In 40s. Better military police because we will use them. We will definitely, definitely, definitely use them. There you go. Now I shall turn the tide a little bit more. My god. 71. Get right there and kill all these guys off too. We do that. Get back in there. Come on. Come on. Come on. All of Manila? Nice, there you go. As long as you can hold it, that's all that really matters right now. Here, get some of that there too. That's all that matters. Watch what happens, we can do that. 
We're going to lose again, aren't we? Um, purge in the name of the Lord. We need to eradicate all elements that can prove troubling under control over the vast new territories, starting with the Gala Socialists. Nice. I mean, they can try to expand out. But they're not going to be able to move at all. Call Baton Rouge. Yep. Oh, we got a lot of political power now. Holy crap. Um. I go with you because we probably use that honestly. Light ships, light hulls, cruisers. No. Go with you. So now with all you guys here, even though we need more equipment, kill them off. That's all I gotta do. Just kill them off. Just say kill them off, and then they die. Impose heavy reparations. Brazil lays beaten at our feet. It can now be forced to support economy through a program of severe war reparations. I was so lucky that the Second World War is not really started yet. What is wrong with these guys? Oh wow! The P oh, the PSA is fighting the Feds. Interesting. Odd, but interesting at the same time. Now you guys got all come here and kill them all off. Level five, not bad. Packed uh, Brigaden yeah. proposal. There's been a new proposal concerning Middle Europa emanating from the Berlin think tanks. Uh, Germany is now calling for the creation of Pact Brigada. International divisions organized from conscripts in all of Middle Europa and member states. These conscripted units will be placed under the aegis of the Imperial German Army for the duration of the military emergency. Such a measure would greatly improve or empower Germany. Well, this is essential. Uh, division organization is not bad. If it's essential, that's fine. And we just finished off Bolivia. Um, it's not bad overall. It kind of sucked. Also, the game crashed again because I clicked on this because I wanted to see what type of tactics we could use, but, you know, whatever. Um, Peru? We don't really want to kill Peru, I don't think. I kind of want to kill them, though. Both well, heavy reparations would be nice. American plan. Time to relations with Peru. Oh, that's true. We can't do this one. Oh, that sucks. Well, you know, sounds kind of unfortunate for them, then. Uh, what are we missing besides... Oh, we got plenty of guns now. We need way more support equipment, though. We need more steel. Oh. Found that one only. Uh, we're probably just going to go with... We waited so long for this guy, we wouldn't grab him. And you... I thought I'd do this earlier, but whatever. Purge in the name of the Lord. Nothing like it. In the meantime, when we're doing this. Huh. huh. Before the second Valkyrie starts, war goals can only be gained from the national folks' events and decisions. Well, a little different. Okay. <clears throat> we're going to go with the overwhelming firepower eventually, too. But I guess we have to wait. Uh, what are we doing down here? Oh, our economy is look, looking very good. Of course, once you start conquering more people, yeah, it's going to look really good, but still. Uh, Rear railway system. Eh. More infrastructure. I'll do two of these. Bay to Bolivia. After campaign reaching to the jungles and deserts of Bolivia, we finally managed to reach the gates of, to the Andes. The pause is now in our hands. We must sign the future. That's our occupation. Thank you. We both have restrictions. America plan. Where are we at for this stuff? La Invención del Moro. We can do some more army stuff now. Uh, squad tactics. In order to have a greater control of our units on the battlefield, we should adopt the new German squad tactics. General Carlos von der Beck has volunteered to translate the textbooks and then oversee the teaching and practice of these tactics in war games and with the aid of his friend, General Pistonarni. We trust them both and we shall grant von der Beck's request and expand Tala Nevas de la Marina. Rising tension with the other naval powers of South America and the necessity to stay competitive has forced us to consider an expansion of our dockyards and who better to do this than the Tales, Tales Nevas de la Marina. <coughs> la Invención de Mora. Adolfo Bial Cesares has published today what can be considered the start of a new phase in his writing career, a short novel titled The Invention of Morel, the first major work of science fiction in Hispanic literature. The book tells the story of a Venezuelan writer by the name of El Fugitivo, who, hiding from the law, casts away in a remote or Pacific island where a strange disease seems to exist. Soon a group of people will arrive, leading him to hide from them, hide from them in fear of being turned in. However, he cannot help falling in love with one of them, a mysterious woman named Faustine, who doesn't seem to notice his presence. <clears throat> After a succession of anomalous events involving the strangers in the very nature of the island, El Fugitivo soon realizes the visitors are not what they appear. Touching themes such as madness, solitude, and love, the book has accomplished both commercial and critical success. With fellow author Jorg Luis Borges, writing that to classify it as perfect is neither an imprecision nor a hyperbole. 
Bios Cesares, a friend of figures such as Borges and the Ocampo sisters, considered the book the true beginning of his writing career. Despite his status as a relatively obscure writer, it's become obvious that the novel will have a great influence on Argentine literature. Cero un acto piadoso. And some other comments included. <clears throat> Finally, Bolivia can't enter the sea. Well, it could, but they no longer exist. Argentina is looking great. Someone says, did they make any changes to Austria Hungary? I don't recall Hungary borders being white or Bohemian or Illyria. So. Someone says, playing as Piotr. Pelo Tudo land instead of Integralist Master Mixed Race uh, Brazil. So, and yeah, cool, awesome. And someone else asks, Argentina in real life is sick? Someone else asks, more oro blue soon? We'll see. And someone else plays Sockdem Comey in TNO. And, and someone else says, Peron or Parish, you choose. So, hey, if you enjoyed the video though, do please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we I will force the second Valkyrie. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.